What's going on everybody? JT here, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go, and this is not how today's video was supposed to start. You see, I was outside doing the raid hour for Registeel, but for some reason the camera decided it didn't want to film that specific part, mostly because I probably didn't hit the button right or something. It doesn't matter. So anyways, I'm going to take you back to that moment, and yeah, I'll catch up with you when we're done. Alright, raid number two is actually going to be a Snorlax, so come on baby! No, man, I've done like 100 plus of these. I'm pretty sure it's full odds right now. Though again, I've seen some people that actually have gotten it within relatively few raids, but yeah. I'm not gonna give up. It's worth a shot. I'm enjoying myself and it's part of my job, but I would like to see a blue one soon. Got another Snorlax raid. <laughs> Thank you so much, Disney Mom Rachel. Now give me my shiny. I love you. Ah, not a shiny, but thank you anyways. All right, we're back to the Registeels. This one was also at 1350, but is it a green one? It was, hey, shiny, okay, that worked out. So the first 1350 wasn't shiny, the second one was, perfectly fine. Man, it is really windy today. Why is it always windy on uh, raid hours, Frankie? It doesn't make any sense, I don't get it. Like, really, every single time there's another event, it's not that bad, every time, it might be also where we are, there's a lot of buildings here that would create such a draft, but still, it's weird. Anyways, we caught the Registeel. I love it when they're shiny, even if they're bad, because that means we can move on to the next raid pretty much instantaneously. Back to Snorlax. We already got a shiny Registeel, right? So let's just focus on these for a little bit. Not a shiny. Man, I don't think it's gonna happen, but it would be cool if it did. And back to the Registeels. 13, or no, 15, no, 1353. I'm losing my mind. It's not shiny. It doesn't matter. Yet again, another Snorlax. Please be blue, not a greenish blue. Nope. You were right, Frankie. Good job, bud. <laughs> so, thanks. I appreciate, appreciate yeah, I know, it. You're right? The yes, I know. I'm not the Registeel. This one's actually pretty decent, 1370 something. But it's not green, so how good is it really, though? Would you believe that we found another Snorlax? And by we found it, I mean somebody sent it to me. Is it blue? 1381. That's a pretty good one. It's not shiny, though, so like. It's just gonna get transferred. And back to Snorlax, because, you know, Snorlax is life. So, watch this as it's blue. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. I know it's a really low chance, but I do want it. Snorlax number one billion. Come on, baby. Come on, please. Hi, Anne. Hi. This was a really bad one. It's also a Registeel, not a Snorlax. But is it green? No, that's fine. We got one. I, I really don't need any more. All right, this one is a 1383 Registeel. Is it another shiny? It is not. All the good ones turn out to not be shiny. This one's really bad, which means it's probably gonna be shiny. Or not. Well, that's fine. That makes it easier to transfer. We're back onto the Snorlaxes for now. Now do we get a good one? No, it's not shiny. It's not good. And this Registeel is really bad. 1345. And not shiny. Oh, you got a 98. Yes, yeah, bud. Look at you. We got another Registeel. Is it a green one? No. That's, I guess that's fine. I really don't need it. All right, this is going to be the last one of the raid hour, even though we are <laughs> almost full hour after raid hour. There was a lot of laid eggs. So, did we get a green one? No, but we got at least one today, so that's great. On that note, I'm hungry, and we're going to get some food, so let's eat. guys well uh i'm not gonna lie to you i completely forgot to film the main course because i was really hungry and i was talking with friends so uh yeah it was delicious though so that's good anywho yeah tomorrow i've got a fun adventure to go on at least hopefully i wake up in time to do it if i don't then we're gonna skip that but i really want to do this so we'll see what happens the next morning
Well, hey guys, I decided to come to the Central Florida Zoo in Sanford because I thought it'd be a fun little adventure, and Pokemon Go here is actually pretty decent. And speaking of which, we just finished a Snorlax raid right here. So watch as it's shiny. Please? No, that's not shiny. Man, let me tell you, I was just on the phone with somebody that got one as we were talking. And I'm happy for them. I'm very happy for them. If not a ton jealous, but yeah. I really want this thing. So let's go around and explore the zoo and maybe we'll get ourselves a shiny along the way, but if not, I mean, at least we'll have a good time. And just to show you what the zoo is like, it's not bad. It's actually got a few stops. And also there's a wild Charizard on the nearby that I just now saw, so I'm hoping I'm going the right way. I'm actually not sure if I am. It might be over this way, but there's a chance we might just get ourselves a shiny Charizard at the zoo, which would be pretty cool. At least I think I'm going the right way. I'm not gonna lie, I've never been here, but it looks like we're going the right way. All right, cool. Please. That would be the coolest thing ever, if we were able to pull this off. Psyduck. Come on, Charizard, where you at, buddy? Please don't tell me you're, like, in one of the exhibits. Am I gonna have to climb in with, like, the warthogs over here? Come on. Oh, there it is. No, that would have been like the coolest thing if we got a shiny Charizard here, but still a wild Charizard. That's awesome. Well, I've had a great day at the zoo, and to make things better, as we're leaving, there's actually a Venusaur here, apparently. 
I mean, we had a Charizard. Also, I need to warn you guys, the camera's really low on batteries, but uh, please let me just check this. Not shiny. Imagine if we get a wild shiny Venusaur. And we had a Charizard today too. This was fun, and we did a ton of Snorlax raids. In fact, I didn't even show you all of them. But on that note, Okay, so I'm in the car with Goku. How's it going, Hi, Goku? guys. I just got another battery and everything. It was really cool of him. He picked me up at the train station and everything, and sure enough, we got a shiny Psyduck. I was really afraid that was actually gonna despawn on me, so I'm glad I got it, because I have the Niantic AR turned on. Ooh, and that could have, yeah, yeah that would have been bad. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna catch this in a blue ball, because it's a blue duck, so might as well, right? Boom. Hopefully it'll be good, just funny, cause, but what? Funny how you got the shiny uh, Psyduck. Oh, I you? got you one also when I went to drop you off to get your camera. Well, there you go. Everybody's getting a blue duck today. I love that. Also, after this, let me just check the IVs real quick. Yeah, it's not that great, but who cares? I also got a uh, shiny slack off, but nobody cares about that because that's that's it's slack off. Nobody cares. The next day. And now we're back where we started and yeah, it was a fun little adventure. Going to the zoo was a lot of fun, plus the raid hour went pretty decent. We did get a shiny, and in total I think we got three shinies in this video, so that's awesome. Still, no shiny Snorlax. I am literally over 200 encounters with the thing, so I definitely feel like it's not uh, boosted. But again, I said that it was a possibility. I didn't say that it was a guarantee, but you know, I'm seeing a lot of people getting them, so thought so, but there's like millions of people that play this game, so odds are a handful are going to get them. Anyways, guys. We actually got a lot of news recently that I really want to go over because there's just a lot of really cool stuff to talk about. So let's dive into it. The first thing is we are getting Shadow Ho-Oh very soon. From June 17th at midnight all the way until September 1st, you will be able to battle Giovanni and get a Shadow Ho-Oh. And if you don't have Super Rocket Radar, don't worry, there will be a special research for it. I think it's called a seven colored shadow or a mini colored shadow. I don't remember exactly what it was. But anyways, there is a special research for it that will give you that Super Rocket Radar and then you'll be able to catch it and I for one am excited because it's new it's not just the beasts like a lot of people thought it was gonna be because I mean we've gone through the shadow birds so many times now we're getting a new shadow bird so kind of cool on that one but I mean I'm down it seems like it's going to be pretty good actually with the shadow boost it's still pretty tanky as well might actually be useful in PvP, not so much as a raid attacker, because we have Shadow Moltres, which is far better, and eventually if we get Shadow Blaziken, that will be even better. So there's a lot of things to focus on that for raids, but Ho-Oh isn't one of them. But it will be more of a PvP Pokemon, especially if you give it Incinerate, give it Earthquake, and give it Brave Bird. That thing could be a bit of a contender for people in Ultra and Master League, and maybe Great League, but I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about Great League with it, even though when you catch it, it should be eligible for Great League, but I just think that it would probably get outclassed by a lot of things, because, I mean, there's Politoed, which would resist pretty much everything except for the Bl uh, Brave Bird, but you don't even have to, like, it wouldn't get there. It wouldn't get there. Like, honestly, those Weather Balls come out too fast, and, yeah, there's Galarian Stunfisk, which would take super effective damage from the Incinerates, but those Rock Throws would get thrown out a lot. Like, it doesn't feel like a Great League Pokemon, but for Ultra and Master League... This thing could be pretty useful, and I'm just excited to get it because it's new. Also, the Safari Zones that got cancelled last year are being brought back. There's no official dates for them just yet, but we will be getting Philadelphia, St. Louis, and Liverpool, which is pretty exciting because I wanted to go to those places to do those Safari Zones, even though we got to do them at home, which was, in my opinion, way better in terms of there were a lot more spawns and it was super awesome. But it'll be fun to actually go to these places. Again, I love live events, so I'm looking forward to actually going whenever these get, you know, announced for their dates, because I will be going to every one of them. I have tickets for every single one of them, and who knows, maybe Shiny Unknown will be there. I was hoping they would mix them up a little bit, but if all they did was add Shiny Unknown, I would be perfectly fine with that, because that's literally the only thing I'd be hunting the entire time. Meloetta has pretty much been officially announced, even though this is a blacked out image. It's very clear that this is Meloetta, and I'm excited for it, because, you know, I mean, we already knew it was coming. There was, like, no way it wasn't, because even in the GoFest image itself, you could see the colors of Meloetta in the actual logo, so... You know, it's not a huge surprise, but I'm still excited for it. I'm hoping it's good, especially for PvP. It's definitely not going to be a raid Pokemon, I'm sure. But for PvP, this thing might actually have some fun moves, and it's always fun to throw new things in the meta, so... Yeah, it's exciting. And the last little bit of news I wanted to cover is that we know when the next two community days are going to be. They're going to be on July 3rd, and then on August 15th. But we have no idea what's going to be in them. I'm... Fingers crossed hoping for Tepig. I really want Tepig really badly because I love the shiny family. I mean, it looks great, especially Embor at the end there. Looks really good. But then, 
We don't know what about the next one, because, like, I really feel like Tepic is a strong contender, though it's not a guarantee. I just don't know what else we could get in there. I mean, there's been some speculation for Rock and Rolla. I don't know why, but that's something that somebody predicted, and they've been pretty good about predicting things, so... I mean, it's a good shiny family, but it's not new, and to be honest with you, it's not really useful. Maybe they'll give it a move for PvP, probably, that's usually what they do, but... I'm really hoping that it's not that. I want new shinies, so to be honest with you, I would love things like the hop -Ip family. Looks great, you know? I love it all the way up to through Skip Loom. Like, they're fantastic. But then there's also the Sfeels family. That would be good, too! Though I feel like that's more of a December thing because they're ice types, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, we have a few families that haven't been released yet that are three stages, and they look great, and I'd be very down with any of those that are new. And now it's time for the positive comment shout out, and today it's gonna go to Brandon Cohn. Thanks, JC. I've always looked forward to your videos. Congrats on the shiny timber. That's one I've been trying to find for a while now. Here's hoping the shiny Snorlax is next. That's the one I'm grinding for as well. Keep up the great work. Well, Brandon, I hope you get the shiny timber, and I really hope you get that shiny Snorlax, because they're both pretty great shinies. I really want the Snorlax so bad, but. Again, it looks like it's a full odds one, so if you see more timber rates, I'd say focus on that one, because that one at least has a higher shiny rate, though you're still not guaranteed to get it within that increased rate, but yeah. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you get your shinies. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video, and if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload, and comment down below. How are you enjoying this Slowpoke event so far? Have you gotten a shiny Snorlax? Have you gone on a fun adventure to the zoo like I have or something like that? Please, just let me know in those comments down below. And if you really enjoy my content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.